With every story of suffering, fond memories of Gaza fade away. Hassan Abu Sharifa says he barely recognizes the place by the sea he loved as a young man. Here in Jala's own refugee camp in Ramallah, he says, he feels helpless. And what's happening in Gaza feels familiar. My grandchildren ask about our village. I tell them we lost our village in the Nakba. We are refugees, but this is temporary. Sooner or later, we will go back. We must go back. He was only three when his family fled their home in Jaffa, after massacres carried out by Israeli gangs in 1948. Back then, Israelis would leave dead bodies inside mosques. Hassan says he won't be forced out of his home again. During the Nakba, Palestinians were often transported to safety in buses like this one. It is a reminder of a national tragedy, a painful past. And with what is happening in Gaza, people are worried that history could be repeating itself. Many Palestinians fled with nothing but their stories of suffering. Adil Tartir has spent his career preserving those stories, using art to pass them on to the next generation. But he describes what is happening in Gaza as ethnic cleansing and says poems, performances, words are all useless now. Sometimes you need different tools. When there is a fight, you fight. When there is a war, you defend yourself and fight with the same tools your enemy is using. Night after night, Palestinian fighters in Jenin confront Israeli special forces using homemade pipe bombs. Outgunned but motivated, they say it's victory or death. As long as there's air in our lungs, we're not letting go of the gun. This is our land and will remain ours. We won't make the mistake of leaving our lands like our grandfathers. When they left, they were humiliated. We're not going to do that. Israel's first Prime Minister, Ben Gurion, said of the Nakba, the old will die and the young will forget. 75 years later, the young grew old and still remember. And a new generation of young is fighting back. Zain Basravi Al Jazeera, Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.